way you can help me. Have you, by chance, seen any limbs of wood on this beach? Like this one? I'm afraid I have not. Why do you seek such things? It's strange, but I'm not sure. I awoke in a daze, clutching this wooden arm. As the fog lifted, I was bathed in a blue light, and I heard familiar voices, but I couldn't place them. All I know is that I must recover the other limbs. Aha! I found one! No, wait. Ah, damn. It's just flotsam. Or is it jetsam? In either case, my mistake. Lord. I'd swear I've combed this area before. Come! We must find them! Well, why, Princess? I... I don't know. I'm sorry. old man. I am a man, not your puppet. This is the last sword I forge for you. I'm afraid your contract has not yet expired, blacksmith. That was... Please, bring me the arm. Didn't you? That man. It was me long ago. Of the other voice, I cannot say, though it fills me with dread. I recognize this path as though I traveled it not long ago. Come, let us see where it leads. This way! That scoundrel has the wooden leg. Perhaps he'll take pity on an old man. You there? Kindly give me that wooden leg, and we'll be on our way without trouble. You again? Again? How many times must I run you through, you cursed bag of bones? Bag of bones? I'll have you know I was a fighter in my day, you dishonorable sea dog. Have at you! Possessed. A lesson my mouth has yet to learn. <laughs> You're quite the fighter. You remind me of me when my skin wasn't loose as a windless sail. They seem to know me. But how? No matter. The leg, if you would. Very well, blacksmith. You may go, but the boy stays. That was never part of the deal! <laughs> Go on then. Try to stop me. Father! Nico! Quickly, bring me the leg. No curse could make me forget that voice. 
This is no puppet. This is my son. My Nico. Don't you see? Something terrible has happened to him. This way. Yes, I remember it now, as though it were yesterday. We're getting closer. <clears throat> <laughs> you amuse me, blacksmith. Damn you, Vesetta! We are not your playthings! But I fear that's precisely what we became. Now, the leg, Traveler. Give it here if you would. I... was a blacksmith for Coiled Queen Vesetta. How I entered into service for such a vile creature, I cannot say. But she used my weapons to commit great evils. Until one day, I could take it no longer. Let's keep moving. I tried to escape with my son. She caught us. She cursed my boy and imprisoned his heart in wood, turning him into a puppet so that he could never escape. My own punishment, I know not. But perhaps Nico's fate was the price we both paid. Remember something about this place? I'm sorry to say that I do. That is where coiled Queen Vesetta has made her lair. I feel as though I've stood in this very spot many times. Pray tell, if you've been here before, why have you not saved your son? That, I don't know. But perhaps with your help, we will succeed where I have failed. Long was this great beast enslaved to Vesetta, though it yet lived. Now it rots. Gods, the stench. What has happened here? I'm afraid the ocean has been destroyed. Truly? Can't you see what this means? The queen will be weakened. Perhaps we have some chance of defeating her after all. We must keep going. piece of my son. Whatever sorcery this may be, 
I will never stop trying to rescue my Miko. I'm coming, son. Hold on. set us traps, I think. I'll recover the head, old man. Bless you. You're not that tired old fool of a blacksmith. Who are you to trespass in my domain? Besetter! This ends now! Give me the boy and we'll go! Ha <laughs> ha you fool! Forty years we've played this game. I thought with time you'd forget him, as you've forgotten all the others. I will never forget him. Every time you come, you fail. And I return you to the beach, broken and another year notched. Will you waste the rest of your life in this vain pursuit, blacksmith? It's different this time. I am no longer alone. No! As for you, trespasser, ally of a broken fool, now you will serve me as he once did, as his son still does. <laughs> on your own. friend to your father. Then you are mine as well, for I have no one left now that he's gone. He spent his life trying to save yours, so honor his sacrifice. Now, 
We've got to find a way out of here. You can leave this place through there. Thank you for all you've done. Are you not coming? I'll stay a moment longer, if that's all right. Other than my dreams, I haven't seen his face in so many years. I have spent my entire life a prisoner, but thanks to you, I'm free. There are others like myself, prisoners of tyrants like Queen Vesetta. I will light my own forge and make <laughs> weapons like my father before me. And I will dedicate my life to freeing them. Now please, I need to be alone. in your plight. Really? Oh, you wonderful who and whatever you are. Listen, I'm in a real predicament here. The local pirates think I'm evil just because I sound like this and live in a cage and do that. And have social anxiety. <laughs> They're gonna put me to death if I can't find a pirate lawyer to plead my case. I lack the credentials to act as a pirate lawyer. <laughs> Anyone can be a pirate lawyer. All you need to do is say, Ahoy! I'm a pirate lawyer! I pass the yard exam! And you're golden! Now, first things first. See if there's a release lever nearby that'll get me out of this rapidly overheating coffin. Hold on. All right, let's get this totally probably not, but maybe evil dude out of there. Wait, what's going on? Oh, stop. Who are you? I don't want it. Friend Phil, can you hear me? You fell for the oldest trick in the book. A lever that seems to be a release lever. Won't you take that at all? Avast! We'll run you through! said he had a certificate of non-evilness from Butt Stallion in his cave, right? Oh, hey! You remember the thing from like 17 seconds ago. I am in all of your good, good brain. <gasps> Thank you. You should be. So, I guess we need to find directions, yeah? Damn right, fool! Find them directiones! This map only shows where the local town is. Well, then I guess you better find a local then, huh, bud? Uh. 
looks like a local. Maybe he'll help us out. Yeah, but we'll have to act the part. <laughs> Cue pirate stuff. What you want, then? He ain't a pirate from the look of ye. How dare you! I'm as much a pirate as anybody. A vast and matey and such. Gotta say, nailed it. Oh, you're a pirate, are ye? Might be you'll have to prove it. How you're gonna do that, then? I shall loot the home of Phil. Where might that be? A fine idea, that. I do love me some looting. As for Phil's cave, it's just down the way. Good luck getting in, though. Oh, and some other sea dogs went down there to try to loot the place already. So you might have some competition. What's that yonder? That is a poetry page, baby. Do you think I know that? Yeah. If only there was some kind of image nearby showing the solution. Just shut up. We got this. Now 
Now we have to find that guy's certificate of non-evilness. Although I still have my doubts. So voices. I know, right? I'm not the one who made him sound super evil. You did. Maybe I wanted to see how prejudiced my players are. Huh? You ever think of that? I will admit that had not occurred to me. No. Yeah, you didn't. All right, fine. I'm a voicist. Is that what you want to hear? Hey, admitting it is the first step. Ugh. That's pretty underwhelming. What? Were you expecting some sort of super spooky evil lair? Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Maybe. Anyway, let's just find that certificate. See? See? That looked super evil! Are you still going on about that? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. It's real. And that's Queen Butt Stallion's hoof print right there. I'd recognize it anywhere. See? Not evil. Anyway, we got what we came here for. Now we just have to talk our way into Scallywag Landing. Economy, Judy. You're back. No, uh -huh. so all those other scallywags didn't kill you. Would have been a boat on that. Indeed. I killed them, in fact. Well, well. Killing pirates is the most pirate thing you can do. Suppose I can let you in. Can't recommend on you defending that crooked eye Phil, though. That freak's more evil than Malevatron the Unbenevolent. Her my name ain't Sir Finbricker, which it is. I'll get the game for you. But you should know you won't be getting to the jail so easy. Gates locked up tight on account of these creepy old totems Crook or I propped up around town. A very handsome guard up there ain't letting anyone through till I'm dealt with. So, Bill put creepy totems around town? That sounds like it could be bad for our case. Then let's destroy the evidence? Duh. For once, I actually agree with you. Let's destroy some evidence. <clears throat>
sea dogs tell of a legendary predator known only as Pokey. Word is, the beast belongs to a salty old wench named Antia. And... There's this ditto ghosty ghost who needs your help getting revenge on his big jerk of a boss, who just happens to be up to something real evil-like. And everybody likes revenge and hates evil, right? Except for evil people, I guess. But, screw that! Whoa! Where'd that thing come from? I have a theory. Would you care to share with the rest of the class, Brett? You know. Very helpful, thank you. Share that theory. I am not. I am the very model of a dying <clears throat> lady criminal. Huh. You know, it seems like they'll actually put those totems around to protect the pirates from the monster. Allowed in here. I don't think. Look, I thank you for ridding us of them evil totems. But the only folk allowed through here are pirate prisoners, pirate jailers, pirate judges, and pirate lawyers. Pirate lawyer, here to defend Phil. Oh, and I passed the yard exam. Oh, well, not it. Ah, my mistake, your esquireness. 
Suppose I'll let you through, then. Good luck defending that Crooked Eye Phil character, though. You're gonna need it. That guy's more evil than Evil Axe, the evil lord of evil. Or my name ain't Charles Finbreaker, which it is. Now to find our client. Maybe he's still stuck in that box. We'll have to figure out how to get up there. There appears to be only one way forward. Oh man, I hope it's not another puzzle. Nope. Precarious cliffside platforming! Oh, great! Yeah. 
Is that a marble for you? Break it. I want to remember. about friend just being better you are so weird that wall looks kind of weak oh it does indeed sometimes when i can't find a door i just make one really what's that spell called oh no i mean like with an explosion you're just a simple little man aren't you i'm not little okay you see a cannon wow really just giving it away there huh well i didn't want you to be stuck being stuck sucks but yeah. Boom! You love to see it. Calm your nips, knucklehead. We still gotta find our client. So I've been reviewing the statutes of pirate law, and their legal definition of evil is pretty open to interpretation. Oh yeah? Where would I find that if I wanted to give it a little look-see? Appendix R. Ha! What? You, you know what? Never mind. Oh, I get it. <laughs> no. strategy they'll be calling my case any moment now hear me hear me this be judge Boyer. sending the one known as crooked eye phil hey come on now it's just hell you guys are the only ones who call me that shut up nerd hey, jerk i heard that If there be anyone who would stand in defense of this clearly evil chump sack, you must report to the courthouse at once. <coughs> you 
there! Take your place upon the dais if you intend to mount a defense for this Cretan. Cretan seems to be much. Very well. Confer with the accused and probably guilty. We will begin <clears throat> momentarily. Okay, what's your plan? Perhaps I can appeal to the better angels of their nature. Uh, do pirates have those? I I'd settle for okay angels in a pinch. No! Listen, just present the certificate and tell them I'm a really decent guy who just wants to help people. Court is now in session. The somewhat honorable Judge Boyle presiding. Which is me, Judge Boyle. We are here to prosecute the case of one Crooked Eye Phil, who has been accused of being super evil by pretty much everybody. If the defense has any new evidence to present, do so now. Your somewhat honor, I present this royal certificate of non-evilness from the infallible hoof of Queen Butt Stallion herself. A what? Oh, I, uh, objection! Overrule! Damn. Wait, you can't do that! Keep up these shenanigans, and I'll hold you in contempt of court and in general. <laughs> now, I must confer with my counsel about the evidence presented. Yar, yar, I, yar, yar. Blow me down. Now this isn't going great. It's been determined that the certificate of non-evilness is fraudulent, and also that it has a stupid name that sounds like something an idiot would make up. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> to go this way. I just wanted to live and let live. You know, I think there's something profound to be said here about the nature of evil. Well, what is it? It's, uh, hold on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's cool, take your time. Evil sucks. because it is right, not for your sake. I have acquired the collar. Now bring it back, obviously. Stupid. Now, your 
gonna walk my child around and help him do his business. And if you do it wrong, you will suffer. Oh, Pookie, Auntie Aker's found a new walker. Such a good boy. Yes, you are. Now put that collar on. Time for walking. I've never heard one speak before. Haven't you ever seen an enchanted collar before? <laughs> what a rube. Daddy, 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 please. Daddy, please, please. Could you pet me? He likes you. Low standards, I guess. Give him a rub. Show him your friend. this soon. Make sure he isn't interrupted. He can't make duty if he's anxious. Looks like it's boom boom time. Keep my pookie boy safe. Leave pookie alone, you mongrels. Go on, you jack! You will assail an enemy in boom. You can't! Darkness, please before the light! Ready to cast! the hell out of here! Yeah! This park is for craft people, you know what? Does this look like a fishbowl to you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he loves to play with his good friends. But mind they don't get too rough. He's a sensitive boy. Look at that stupid guppy puppy thinking he can just waltz into our crab park and we're not gonna do nothing about it. It's insulting is what it is. Sea warg people, I swear. Oh, those bullies. Psst. Hey, you. There's a little teeny rune on Pookie's collar. Go ahead and hit it for me. Crumbs for playtime, Pookie. He's on a rampage! All hands! All hands! 
While they were dying, those crab park dudes said something about Boogie being like a legend. Uh. What was that about? If you'd read the tie-in novel, you'd understand. Yeah, Valentine, I did. <sighs> what? When? In the last point three nanoseconds. Oh. Well, how was it? Surprisingly moving. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just in time, my dear Lachance, wind of my heart sail has been captured. It's that thieving pirate lord, Long Bronzed Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty cutlass, but alas, where's the most potent? Lachance says, Blood Army. After Gilbert sweet talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole Lachance away and vanished. He must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on the island. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire with fire. Plot armor is precious booty. No man can die when wearing it, so the legends go. But somehow, Gilbert pried the armor off my chance. Give me a hand. He... No, he had to have used some magic devilry. The witch doctor's an old friend. Her magics helped me out of many a sea pickle, which is like a sea cucumber, but even brighter. Excuse me? Um, hey, old. are you the witch doctor? But she be asleep, or in a trance, or a sleep trance. Find a way to wake her from her witchy slumbers. Up you go! Well, blow me <laughs> down! That trance be deeper than a sunken semiotician! But have no fear, there's a cannon not far that you might commandeer. Short of course!
Welcome to Yes We Cannon, here for all your cannon needs. If you need something louder, we've got the powder. Uh, care to give it a blast, me lord? D. Oh, very quaint, don't you agree, me lordy? Yes, but I'm looking for less quaint and more thunderous. You understand? Oh, you just sorry, shot! The lordy wants it louder! Bring her down below and swap her up with something what kicks proper! Let's show him what the Bar Mountain Clan can do! At the ready! This will not do. Only the loudest cannon will suffice. If possible, I need it to be too loud. Is that clear? But the Dragon Cannon is forbidden. Ever since it woke the dragons of the Bar Mountain in the last age. Splendid! Step to it, lad. Very well. Dragon Cannon... Dragon Cannon Hoys! Right, you dogs! Raise hoy that elder boar from which all worldly sorrows were shot! Today, we rouse the hells themselves! That's it, that's exciting. Put your backs and do it, you sorry spineless as a god! Don't keep the customer waiting all day! But just a moment more, I'm sure. Pull her up, faster! The Lord is dying all age up here! Oh, I'm so sorry, me lord. Where are you? Cannon? All right. I'm awake. Wait. Uh, I'm awake? Ugh! Who woke me from my fairy death like but definitely alive trance? Oh my goodness. That was loud. Oh, what's so bloody important that I couldn't get a little shut-eye? A brigand needs to face justice, but he wears plot armor. Can it be destroyed? Destroy plot armor? Impossible! Unless you're a cunning witch doctor like myself. I can't destroy it per se. But the curse of true character could turn a crusty coward into a smaller creature. And the armor would fall right off. Well, then again, they might transform into a vicious giant monster. Uh, depending on their character. Either or. I must have misheard you. I, I thought you said transform into a giant monster. Tell you what, meet me at the Ravenous Caverns, and we'll put the curse together! Together! It's a good thing you arrived when you did. A coven of coils showed up at my hut the other day, claiming my magic cauldron for their own. We'll reclaim it soon, but we need the proper ingredients first. See ya! Comrades and concubines of long bronze skill bear they are. Oh! So it's you who wants to destroy some plot armor. Simply chance on some. I thought you two were blossom bound together in a foamy sea of love. Aye, we are now and always will be. But the chance has been given because plot armor sits on the burly chest of long bronze skill bear. I won't rest till my love is in my arms and my blade in Gilbert's gut. <clears throat> now we'll harvest the materials for the curse in this hex caster. Now we'll need to collect curse essence from some sorry cursed souls. Head to the grave of the bone-picked pirates. They made the mistake of spending a night in these haunted caves, only to be eaten alive by cursed crabs. Now they too share the curse, transforming to their true crabby form when they grow weak. Summon them to the caster, and when they transform, put them out of their misery. We'll use their salty essence to make the curse! I didn't always trust the witch doctor so, but she's never <gasps> failed to haul me backside out of the brine. <sighs> Once she's got her cauldron, I'm confident she can concoct a cure for our conundrum. 
Now place the hex caster and watch it work its magic. Laid low by the light. He's transformed. Now slay him and gather his gooey Whoever you are, you handsomely mysterious murderer, you'll be joining the ranks of my undead crew. Uh, once we make uh, dead first, that is. <laughs> crew, attack! Hold out best you can. Old Bones is on his way. My conscience. Turn back now, and you might survive! The horde breaks before me! I fight! I'm scattering in the war of the winds, the seven scummiest seas, and all twelve furnaces of the world! I feel magical! adventure. Uh, are you still a practitioner of the sea sorceress arts? Would you be asking for my help if I wasn't? Now you, drop the curse essence into the cauldron. Ah, oh, tis a powerful kindness you do me. Bows and thanks. It's done. Gather it up in the hex caster and you can transform long bronze skill there out of that armor. Well done, witch doctor. And you, me hearty, whatever your name or profession may be. Now to Long Bronze Skill Bear's Cave to rescue La Chance. We better get a move on. We've got a long walk, followed by a longer swim. Ye can swim, can't ye? Bones, I'm insulted. Let me just whip up a portal for you. We never cease to amaze. Come on. You've been with La Chance for many moons, Bones. Why haven't you made him your first mate for life? Tis a fair question, <coughs> Doctor. And after Long Bronzed Gilbert sinks to the salty deep and the chance is free, I just might. Now, 
try to parley. No more blood needs to be shed, unless that blood be the blood of long bronzed Gilbert. <clears throat> parley! I declare parley! I'm here to talk with your captain. Help me out, you savvy! Parley, do you have an appointment? Parley! I don't make appointments. I'm an adventurer. I'm always welcome. Parley, uh, may I ask then, what is the nature of this proposed chat with Captain Gilbert? Parley! To demand he release Le Chance at once. Parley? That seems like a threat. I thought we were parleying. Maybe learn some manners, you know? No way we're letting you in with that barbaric attitude. Damn the ancient and subtle code of parley! Pirate law protects these scallywags, so we can't just fight through! Blast! How I wish we could simply curse the lot of them! But wait, can we do that? Brilliant! That just might work! Sea creatures probably aren't under the purview of pirate law! Hit them with a hexy! I did, my love. I'm tired of listening to you two spill your guts. Uh. Crew, spill the intruder's guts. <sighs> Kill Gilbert's crew and let Krill sort them out. Away, oh, the chance away. Ah, uh. 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 But every soul in my crew is loyal to the last. Behold, a little bit of the ghost and the sacrifice of a single innocent soul. A chance! No! And with that, long bronze Gilbert begins draining La Chance's soul energy! <sighs> har, har, har! And with your partner's sacrifice, I can <clears throat> summon my loyal crew from beyond death's reach! It's not too late! We can still save La Chance! Kill the crew! Hold on. Providing his whole crew with just one soul? There's the return. Here! Magic time! To arms, fellas! Companion through seas fair and foe. 
here who'd like to see you. Bones! Can you hear me, Bones? The chance! My love, you're... you're free! Free and waiting for you? You always come for me, Bonesy, and sure is the time. Here you are. Oh, the chance! But I'm a skeleton, and ye be not but ether. We can't truly be together. Unless, unless me matey here uses some sea sorcery, me hearty, hex me. Is that truly your wish? Usually, curses are to be avoided. Sure is sure. Once I'm a fearsome giant crab, I'll pop right out of me plot armor, and then ye can unmoor my ghostly spirit from my corporeal bonds. mysterious and complicated sea sorcery ritual. Well, don't just stand there talking about it. Get me spirit out of here. Uh, if you please. Sure thing, Bones. Hold still. Ibadiba Dolga Bum! It worked! At long last, I'm free of that cursed bony prison. Oh, Bones. You're just as beautiful as the day we met. I love. When I'm with you, I'm the luckiest pirate in all the seas. I'd give up all the nautical debauchery in the world for just one more. The chance. Oh, Bones. You're a terrible scoundrel. <laughs> Yar, and don't ye forget it, love. As for you, crew. I bequeath to ye me chest of worldly plunder. We won't be needing it where we're going. Tis all yours, me hearty. Now come see us away. Tis terrible luck starting a journey without a proper send-off. Fare thee well, friends, and may our paths cross again before your voyage ends. What? Voyage? <laughs> but where to? We have no chart. I don't need a map to know we're bound for adventure, dearest. A 
Let's get away from all this. Away, chance away. We'll go away together. Away, chance away. We'll far away. than I was a couple days ago. But I got no idea how or why. I need your help. Rude Alex? Why, you seem perfectly lovely for a deceased pirate. Uh, life! That was my pirate name. Death! That's still my pirate name. But I don't remember nothing else but this year hook in my head. And maybe something about the apothecary. Maybe we can go find some answers there. Let's go. I'm gonna tag along, but I don't want to frighten nobody, so I'm gonna be invisible. Wait, can I tag invisible? I I'm a ghost after all. Hey, let's see. Don't worry, I'm still here. But they, that, mm, them cannons look like they're attached to the gate mechanism. No good. Nope. You know, pirates are notoriously protected, so they usually leave the solution hanging around somewhere. It appears your corpse met a sudden and seawalky end. Man! I hope I was dead before I got aid. But I just remembered something. The Enchanted oh. Nose Ring protected me from potion use. Well, let's go find the back door to the apothecary. And maybe we can figure out the next piece of my death puzzle. Hey! You're not supposed to be here! I know everyone who's supposed to be here! Did you get him? Yeah, there's something of mine true there. I can feel it. Yeah. Get those guys so we can find it. Take a crew as they say. The cold of the grave. Seems like something I'd have done in another life. And by another life, I mean the one I had. 
before I was ghostified. I wish I could remember why I traded on the big boss. Ah, potion of acid splash. Ha, damn, that's a lucky find. Let's melt that grate. I mean, seriously, what are the chances that the exact thing we needed would be right here? It sounds like exactly what I would label a nefarious brew should I do something of the sort. Which I never would! Potion cookbook and a mess of seaboard parts. Now that's all as I'll get out. It looks like someone was making a big old batch of seawalk essence. What for? Transmogrification potion, and not, in fact, a Crazy, right? I'm so close to something here. Oh, that's my head! Grab it! Wait, picking up my head must have jogged my memory, because I just remember, this must be why they killed me! I have to assume it was because of the potion that turns people into seawogs. Because of the potion that turns people into seawogs! Every time you get one of my things back, I remember things. Materialism does weird stuff to our sense of identity, I guess. 
But look, we gotta get to the vet with them making this potion and stop them from, you know, doing that. They were gonna use these potions to turn everyone in bright hook. And I just couldn't let it happen. It's one thing to shake a crookshit down for protection money. It's another thing altogether to turn a whole town into sea wargs. Hey! You guys suck! Now you're gonna die too! trying to shut this bat down. Too bad you weren't here for that one, huh? But I remember how to do it now. Break the temperature on the van. This ruinous ingredient. Hair gel? It's a pirate secret. Although, they didn't shove a hook in my brain, so I guess I can tell you. It's pineapple. Add to anything, instantly rule. I find pineapple perfectly mediocre. Ha <laughs> ha! It's done, so. Now we just gotta stop them sending what they already made the right. To the captain's boys! Though I struggle to understand how you could have such strong feelings about pineapple. I have strong feelings about protecting the people of Brighton. Onward! Hey, I don't want to argue, all right? Let's go. I'm coming for you, Captain Pirate. Watch your ass, you son of a gun! So their big plan was to turn people into sea wargs and then steal from <laughs> Yes. Wouldn't the sea wolves be even more dangerous than the people, though? Well, I mean, yeah, sure, but what are they gonna do? Stop you from taking their stuff? Sea wolves can't exactly wear nice jewelry. <laughs> Why not? Well, because, uh, because, I don't know, they, they don't have ears? Have you seen them wear jewelry? It made sense in my head, okay? <gasps> okay, let's just suspend our disbelief here and help our pirate ghost friend, okay? 
Okay. What in the name of Drills, Barber? What now? Surprise, Captain. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Rude Alex. You failed to stop my plot against the people of Brighthoof and Life. So now you return in death. I should have known you would be that bloody annoying. But the town is mine! trying to put me to rest. It's not that I don't appreciate it, but I kind of want to return this place back to its former glory, you know? Nothing can stop you from achieving your dreams. Not even a hook to the head. You're right. And you're the best. I'll get to work on making this a place that actually helps people, instead of trying to turn it into monsters. will summon a slippery steel skin she serpent Thank you. 
so easily bested. There's a chill in Scroll of eternal faith! It's real! I must read it this very moment! Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. It's so profound! I feel the warmth of the gods in my heart! Thank you, hero! I must hang this in my guest bathroom so that all may feel its glory! Poor 
my crabbers. Do you have a pet? I hope you tell them how perfect and spiny their shells are every day. hero. I know that he'll never return to me, but I had to make sure he was at peace. Wait, 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 hold up. I just got sad. Crabber the Crab was actually just asleep. <gasps> Crabber, you're alive! <gasps> Who's the pinchiest boy? Is it you? It's you! Trying to undercut the emotion of the moment. Shut up! It's a magical world and I
So you're sticking with her in this pathetic quest, are you? Fine. I know what it's like to have your fate chosen for you. But I'm owning this villain thing, okay? World's not gonna cover itself in darkness, you know? You come across a mysterious relic, and it is just giving off super magic vibes. Oh, you know I want to touch that. The light! I'm alive! Oh, wait. Hmm. All right, halfway there at least. But you freed me, adventurer. Thank you. Halt, ghost! Make yourself known. I had a name long ago, but now they just call me the Wastard. Sorry, what's a Wastard? Oh, you know, a real son of a witch. Get it? We Wastards are rare, powerful magic users. I'm a necromancer, but when I refused to do that Dragon Lord's bidding, he ripped my soul out of my body and stuffed it into this relic. Dick move, right? Verily, a dick move. I myself am on a quest to defeat the Dragon Lord and save the entire realm from encroaching darkness. Great, we're going the same way. Look, I need to get my body back. If you help me, I'll give you a powerful tool against the Dragon Lord. Here, a live demonstration. Well, half live. This guy's just the only way up, but it's protected by a barrier hex. Luckily, hexes are sort of my fate. See? Not a problem. Such a spell would be most helpful on my quest. I can show you how to dispel hexes once I have my body back. Now we gotta climb these cliffs. Road trip! What? Devilry? Hey, hey, relax. I'm just hitching a ride. Mobility is not a ghost strong suit. Ever wonder why they always stick around in gloomy ass houses? It's not a big cool. I would just like to highlight that I'm not putting up a fight about trusting this necromancer. Hey, that's character growth, baby. Totally unrelated. Newbie, there's something called a reverse exorcism, where you trap someone's soul in your own body and then explode, <clears throat> sending you both to hell. In case you need some leverage. Oh yeah, that's real. Messy stuff. Happened to my buddy Connor at a birthday party.
nearly as cool. Skeletons make everything cool. I don't know what else to tell you. This mining equipment. What is the Dragon Lord doing here? Oh, you've probably seen those crystals around. Quartz naturally absorbs soul energy, even sucks it right out of the ground. The Dragon Lord's been using his arms to mine it out, but then he ordered me to start turning living people into undead workers. And I refused. And now look at me. I mean, yeah, okay, it sounds bad when he says it, but yeah. the guy's body is crazy full of power. He wasn't even using it. You snooze, you get your soul ripped out of your body and thrown in the ocean, as the saying goes. in business. storage area is somewhere in this mining camp.
I haven't seen them up here in eons. I may have, and this is on me, ever so slightly killed them. But I feel like I've grown a lot since then. You know, I've heard a lot of talk about yeah. heroes. Yeah. And to be fair, most of it's coming from other necromancers. But I'm starting yeah. to see why you guys have the representation. <laughs>
Challenger! None of the relics are good enough? None of the relics you can see, Wink. Did you mean to say Wink? Yes, that was for newbie's benefit. Athena does her own close captions. <gasps> Much soul energy, 
You need more than one person channeling it, or the effects could be catastrophic. Say it with me. Ragu Barata Pesto! Ragu Barata Pesto. Ragu Barata Pesto! Ragu Barata Pesto! for a while? Yeah, but I always just killed people and took their stuff. Frit, how many parties have you gotten kicked out of? Not counting this one. All of them. Welcome to my bachelor pad. Huh. Roomier than I expected. The Wastard's body floats above an obvious boss arena. is mine. What in all the hells is he doing? I'm taking control. A beautiful body indeed. And full of power! strength so as not to obliterate you entirely. Now, you promised us assistance. Of course. I'll honor my side of the deal. 
Here, follow me. Souls, though. Do we need that for anything? Eh, minor stuff. Soul magic, true love, jazz. Nothing important then. Seems fair. Ugh. I grant you permission. One-eighth undead. Enough to legally claim it on your taxes. As long as it doesn't show up on job applications. Give it a shot. The parched waste stretch out before you. You can feel the land itself thirsting beneath your boots. Tread carefully, Fate Maker. Oh, and I've got one more thing if you're up for it.
are here. Now, first, the tome's runes speak of eggs, specifically eggs from the ageless dragons of Foul Wind Peak, whose odious cries heralded the birth of iron. Such a quest would be worthy of a saga, but I'm short on time, so why the next? Fie! But fine, I can work with that. and crisp like so much kindling, drift toward in a sea of flame. Hey, you feel luckier. I probably should have warned you, Wyverns don't take kindly to people stealing their eggs. of you.
should suffice. I can perform Grimblethorpe's elementary reanimatrix. But be warned, the Dragon Lord's power is so great, most every skeleton raised falls under his sway, no matter who did the raising. Your true name! 
in the mortar. Now, smash them with your weapon. Why don't you do it? You've got the pestle. What, and get my pestle, Daddy? No, thank you. Just use your weapon. <laughs> Soon I shall have <laughs> the flame at <laughs> my command. <laughs> it is done. Now stand back, mortal as I ascend to the apex of arcane mastery. In mere moments, I will be imbued with the power to cast the spell of ultimate flame! Singe and scorch and blacken, char with hellish fire. Grant me the breath of dragons, Make me the living fire. Ignis, Ignis, Ignis! I call your burning name. Awaken the red hunger! The first and final flame! Poor foolish boy. I'll put him out of his misery. Remember this. You could have run. Read it, pay! Then you came back and asked me what happened, and then it was now. So the spell must be a dud. Surely I, Drixel, did nothing wrong whatsoever. Just goes to show you can never trust these ancient tomes. Fuck. Take your payment, adventurer. It was an honor meeting, helping, and slaying you. Come find me in the ruins when you can. I have more work for you. And more rewards. It seems the forked rivers of our fates entwine once again. Join me, and we may taste true power. 
together. Who am I to spurn the call of destiny? Onward, wizard! Yes, yes. Now follow closely, mortal, for the path is seldom trod and easily lost. Remember that dart of a flame spell? I first found its tome in the entrance to the ruins. There may be other, more powerful secrets deeper inside. Help me reach them, and any material baubles we find along the way are yours to keep. Ah, the air is pungent with the aroma of adventure. Lead on! A simple ward bars the way. Allow me to dispel it with a mere thought. Child's play! I can sense your ambition. What in Grimblethorpe's name was that? Did you hear that? From here, the way is blocked. There must be a way to proceed, but damned if I can find it. Ah, but I might find a way, that is. Just you watch. A little camaraderie and some elbow grease will see us through. What? A puzzle? A secret clue area. Boom! Hitting stuff always works. See? You can hit stuff and solve puzzles. That's why B&B &B is the best game ever! as you look. Come, let's see what lies inside. Murderlings, beard, foes! I thought the ruins were empty. You go on ahead, I'll uh, spry from afar until it's safe. As you wish. I'm no stranger to adventuring on my own. Just as I may or may not be doing now. Modality is a cage, and only I hold the key. My conscience is clean, villain. Back in business. Scorching smite! This door won't open. Should I try... Oh, I don't know. Knocking, maybe? Must I do all the thinking, you dumb skull? <sighs> Fine, I'm on my way. Turn with keys in hand.
not face that dark gate. Eternity is within your grasp, if you will but join me. for nothing. Enter. Yes, well done. You... You press on to the inner sanctum. I'll stay here until I know it's safe. Good luck. Are you sure you'll miss the grand battle? More glory for me, I suppose. I am the Lord of all dread, the moth in the page, the silence of the dead, the moldering of age. I am the final breath, the cockerel's third cry, the restless dream of death, the maggot can't fly. This fellow is useless here, he is all who stand before me are lain low. All who stand beside me are raised high. Join me or perish. I can free you from the shackles of pain. Free from fear. Free from more hands. <laughs> to remember.
Titan. This is natural for one unaccustomed to power. But it need not be so. This is far too wondrous to miss. Wait for me! Power can be yours for a price. That is what we came here for. Very well. How much? Serve me forever. Ah. And uh, how much power are we talking about? Surely you don't trust this definitely evil spectral voice. Just making sure we're considering all our options. Enter. Ah, a portal! I should have known. Well, let's see where it leads. Unless you want to just stand here chatting all day. No, 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 please, let's go. The suspense is killing me. Welcome to the Shrine of the Tempest. Look there. That shrine. It must be the key to... Well, something powerful, right? Come, let's get a closer look. This space <clears throat> seems to be used for a summoning ritual. I can activate it, but I don't know what will appear once the ritual is complete. Let me know when you're ready to begin, and be careful. There are dark forces at work here. My steel is sharp and my heart is pure. Ready when you are. Very well. I shall begin the ritual incantation. Rika Heliance, my hell torn! Remember this day, mortals, when you were offered power and chose death. Oh, I think I left my call something. I'll see to that. You take care of things here. I believe in you. summons a sacrifice and produces a spell from their essence. You may keep the spell. I'm far more intrigued by this ritual. I believe this was but the start of a much larger ritual. I can perform the summoning again, but the foes will be more powerful, as will the finished spell. Let me know when you're ready to face this next challenge. In the meantime, I'll open a portal to make our comings and goings a bit... smoother. Are you prepared for the next phase of the ritual? This should prove more challenging than last time. Ha! I relish a chance to test my mettle. I'm ready! Very well. Steal yourself, mortal. I shall begin the summoning. Seek 
Does your hubris know no bounds? This is just the beginning of something darker. Once more, the ritual awaits. The ritual gets more treacherous each time. I am stronger than before. I shall not falter. Hm. We shall see soon enough. Prepare. You are an arrogant pest, aren't you? All that. As always, good price for Maria. She wasn't lawful over here. reward, but do not tarry. The Dreadlord's presence grows stronger. I fear you will confront him directly next time. Speak with me when you think you're ready. It is time to face the Dreadlord. It has all led to this. Are you ready? 
To face evil? <laughs> Always. I shall begin the summoning then. Good luck. Red Lord, I sense him even now, licking his wounds, gathering his strength anew. He may need to be struck down again. Speak with me when you wish to face him. Ready to face the Dread Lord again, are you? I never tire of punishing evil. Hm. As you wish, I will summon him and his forces. Fool. You cannot kill the dread itself. The world is dust and the stars are ash. I will still be here. I will have my vengeance. I feel magical. Another treasure. You have proven to be a worthy foe for the Dread Lord. And I think I have the hang of this summoning by now. If you should wish to face him again and earn more riches, you need only ask, and I will summon him. 